Welcome to everything. As you can see, we are in another venue today, and it might be a little bit noisy, but that's because we are at the fabulous Suki Salon in Richmond. Thank you so much to our wonderful friend James Valiant for being here and for, of course, styling our Star Experience winners. Anyway, so today, since it is Mother's Day, I thought why not have an episode that features the amazing stage moms behind some of our most talented guests and artists. So today we have Michelle, the lovely mom of Madison Bell, and Susan, the mom of Kathleen Monroe. Yay! Hi guys, how are you? Great, thank you. Really well, thanks. That's wonderful. Yeah, so uh, why don't you both introduce your child and maybe what they do and how old they are. <laughs> you want to go first? Or? <laughs> <laughs> introduce Kathleen. How do I do that? Um, Kathleen is a 17-year-old singer-songwriter. She's a sister to two brothers. She's a wonderful daughter. Um, she's got a lot of fun and humor in her. She's a hard-working student and uh, She's just um, entertaining around the house, I'll put it that way. <laughs> uh, Madison is a 13-year-old young girl, um, singer-songwriter, she plays guitar, she has one brother, and she's a lot of fun, she's a really good kid and works really hard at everything she does. Yeah, they're both amazing and so down to earth and so talented. Um, so what was your first impression when you found out that what they wanted to do for the rest of their lives was music? It wasn't really fun, you know, it was always there and she always, it was what she always did and always does and it's just, that's her life, mm -hmm. that's what she does. Um, yeah, similarly, Kathleen uh, was always a singer, um, even as a wee little one in her crib, she would sing when she'd wake up from her naps and stuff, so we kind of knew that she had music in her. Her dad's a guitar player and singer and her brothers are both singers and songwriters and stuff too, so um, it's sort of just inner blood, I think. Yeah, runs in the family, I guess, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Um, so, you know, speaking of, you know, reactions to your kid wanting to pursue music, uh, I know that sometimes it's hard for, like, even my some of my friends um, to pursue certain careers because their parents have this kind of, you know, set block plan for them. Like, you're going to be an accountant, you're going to be a doctor. Uh, what was it like for you guys? Did you ever have plans for them, or was it just kind of going with the flow? We just go with the flow. There's no plans. I don't know what she's going to do. She says she wants to be a singer, but she may change her mind. She's mm -hmm. still young, so who knows. But, but as long as she loves it and has a passion for it, we'll support her. That's true. Um, yeah, we, we've never had a set idea of what we wanted Kathleen to be or do. Uh, it's really just uh, as she kind of unfolds as a person and blossoms, um, her interests have changed somewhat, but she uh, has always enjoyed music. So I know mu music will always be part of her life, um, and she will pursue many things, I think, in life as well. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> She's like, oh, mom, I see you. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, what about, you know, being a stage mom comes with a uh, of course, your, your child has a completely new life, and a completely new schedule, so then naturally you also have to adjust. So what are some of the uh, biggest changes that you've had to make with uh, their careers? Um, we haven't really had to make any. Maddie used to do a lot of acting, so we were way busier back then with auditions compared mm -hmm. to what we do now for performances. Um, but otherwise, we just go to every event as a family, and I spend a lot of time finding her events and performances, and as a family we go and we have a good time and it just brings our family together. Um, yeah, lots of, um, lots of time on the road, uh, in the car, driving her to places, to lessons and, and you know, voice lessons, piano lessons and so on. Um, but we, it, it seems to fit in with our life and, um, and we enjoy, same thing, we enjoy going to the, her performances and uh, so not huge sacrifices really. Very nice. And what would you say are some of the uh, cons, but mostly benefits, of uh, being a stage mama? 
Um, benefits are we, I get to enjoy her music, see her uh, perform, um, enjoy all of that. Um, and challenges, was that the other part mm -hmm. of it? Um, just time-wise, her life is super busy, so it's sort of keeping her on track and helping her, supporting her through her, her busyness with all of her, her various commitments. Um, we don't have a lot of, I guess I have a lot of time, so there's not a lot of challenges besides yeah, yeah. I guess keeping her on track and making sure she practices and does that. And the pros are getting to listen to it, right? Yeah. Nothing better than coming home and your kids sitting there singing or just walking around the house singing yeah. and it's, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's like my mom too. She'll end up singing the lyrics to my own song. It'll be like her radio. It's just me in my room, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, what about you guys uh, as a stage mama? What is your average day like helping them get ready for a gig? Uh, in being 17, she's fairly independent, so she kind of does her own thing. She loves doing her own makeup, she loves doing her own hair. Um, I, I assist wherever needed, I'll check in on her, but um, she's fairly uh, single-minded and uh, self-sufficient at this stage. So really I'm more just her cheering squad encourager when she needs that and uh, again, driver at this yeah. point. <laughs> um, because Maddie's 13, so we do help with song selection. Um, she'll usually ask me advice on outfits, but usually she picks her own. She does her own hair and makeup usually, and otherwise, yeah, I carry her guitar, and that's yeah. about it. And you're, you're off the road, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, what are your biggest dreams that you uh, hope that your kids can accomplish? I just want her to be happy, and if she can make a living doing music, great. Um, but whatever makes her happy. It's going to sound corny, like I said, but just to bring uh, light and joy to people around her through her music and through who she is as a person, really. That's the most important thing. And that she would uh, be happy doing what she's doing and share that with others. Hi, my name is Apis. I am mother to Aiden. Uh, who is a want to be a quantum physicist, an actor, and a budding environmentalist. What makes you happy as a mom? What makes me happy as a mom is all the time I get to spend with you, all the adventures we get to have together, and seeing you happy and fulfilled. I like that we get to do a lot of things together. Mostly, I like that when you're following your passions, you make everybody else excited. So I am excited to learn new things, to try new things with you. What does Mother's Day mean to you? Mother's Day is the day that you came into my life. It was the best day in the world because I got to have you. And all the wonderful experiences that we've had since started that day. How do you overcome challenges? Well, we have always overcome challenges together. We've gone through some really, really tough challenges. Always together. And uh, as long as we do it as a team, we manage. I mean, things, there are a lot of things you can't control. But you try to be as positive as you can and move forward. What is the most memorable moment for you as a mom? Most memorable moment. First time we made art together. Because suddenly I realized there were a lot of things that you and I are different at, like math, but a lot of things we have in common too. What is your biggest dream for your child? Ah, my biggest dream is that you're happy and fulfilled that you find a way to make other people just as excited about the things you love. Hi, I'm Maggie Hewitt. I'm the proud grandmother of artist, singer, and actor Jay Stelson, who's right here with me. We're standing in the Vancouver airport trying to go home because we've been here for a workshop uh, a demo and a TV taping. We travel all over the United States and all over Canada and we're always on the airport. Yep.
Yeah, we are. How do you like acting and singing? I love it. Like, it's just something that's amazing. And I'll say that probably for a long time. So, that's what we do. We travel around and we go to piano lessons and guitar lessons and voice lessons and auditions and we're busy all the time. And I'm here with my mom, Tula Bundek. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Peter? I'm doing well, thanks. Hi, Avaria Thing. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I have to ask you, what's it like being a mom? Oh, what's it like being a mom? Of, well, of an of a, of a actor and being busy, having to drive us to auditions and stuff all the time. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Very busy, indeed. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I my third home is my car, <laughs> because my first home is at home with you and Jeanette. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, I'm in and out of the car all day long. Yeah, so is that, do, do you not mind that? Do you like that? Is that all right with you, being in the car? Yeah, I like that. Sometimes I don't know where I'm going, but I eventually yeah. get somewhere. <laughs> That's true. She must love me a lot to have to come. Right? I do, I do. See, you hear that? She said it. She loves me. Of course. <laughs> and I get to have fun with all the accolades by going to various places of the world with you. Yeah, that's true. And I enjoy that very much. Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome. Aww. Aww. <laughs> and happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank it you. It goes out to you and all the mothers. <laughs> thank you. Happy thank Mother's you. Day to everybody. You heard it. <laughs> I think one of my personal favorites is I asked a man, um, you know, what makes you happy? Tell me one thing that makes you happy in life. And he just looks back at me and he goes, only one thing? Um, we just do a lot of, like, all of the money that we get basically goes directly to the Amount of Todd Legacy Foundation, mm -hmm. and that is what funds all the programs for kids with learning disabilities and youth with mental health struggling in the communities. I mean, you find bullying in every aspect of life, no matter what, but sports, it's like an, it's an outlet for kids is what it is, essentially. Well, I work very hard, and I kind of, um, I approach acting as, like, it's a science. Like, I could get really technical with it. Um, but for me, acting is about um, honesty. Also, it's about connecting with yeah. the other person in the scene. And that is probably the, the biggest um, thing for me. If you're in an audition room and you're feeling nervous, just remember that you have every right to be there as anyone else does. Um, you're good. If you get called in for an audition, that means you're good and you deserve to be there. Never give up on your dream. I mean, I'm from Winnipeg. I never thought I'd be working with Daniel Radcliffe. Um, well, up until the return, it was mostly commercial work. Mm -hmm. um, I recently did a film directed by Tim Burton called Big Eyes, um, and it was an actor role. Um, the that was a very memorable day because I don't I don't mean to make you more jealous, but were you with Lena? <laughs> no, I got a a handshake from Tim Burton and a hug from Amy Adams. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi everyone. So because it is Mother's Day, I thought this would not be complete unless I brought my mom for an interview. So this is my mom, Jackie. Everyone say hi to Jackie. Hi, Jackie. And she is my Kris Jenner, but my awesome version of Kris Jenner, not hating on Kris Jenner. She is my telemometer and my amazing stage mom. And most of all, my number one fan. But because uh, since we want to have some fun today and no every other thing episode is complete without a workshop or a quick fire, I thought it'd be fun if um, us kids asked our parents some quick fire questions. Are you ready, mom, to be in front of the camera for quick fire? Do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have, um, we have uh, 10 questions here and it's gonna 50 seconds and you have to answer them all with the first thing that comes to your mind as much as possible. Is this like payback time? <laughs> yeah, this is payback, thank you. <laughs> all the times that you grounded me. Okay, so I'm gonna have my sister, your other daughter, we're both in this. It's family we're event. <laughs> it's revenge uh, for 50 seconds. So cue me in. What's my stage name? Rhea J. What is my favorite genre? Rock. What is, who's my favorite rock. artist? You have a lot. I like Demi Lovato. Um, oh no 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 no! This band. One second. Panic at the disco. Yeah. What's your favorite song that I wrote? Let me go. If I wasn't a musician, you'd want me to be a a dancer. Weirdest thing I've ever done. No no no, no. a writer. Okay. okay. Weirdest thing I've ever done. Greatest thing? Weirdest. Weirdest thing? Well, you chopped your own head and you had this like chicken hair here. I remind you of myself what song describes our relationship uh love cloud nine that's not a song <laughs> oh a song describing a relationship yes like love is a many splendor <laughs> that's quick that's so dated <laughs> okay if i was a cartoon character who would i be a uh, power puff girl <laughs> <laughs> what's it like being a stage mom well, it's very fulfilling, of course. We it's have 50 seconds, oh, mom, not a long answer. <laughs> exciting. Oh, I thought there was an interview. <laughs> okay, so fulfilling, exciting, nerve wracking, uh, proud. Yay, we went over time because mom thought she was on Ellen DeGeneres, but hopefully I one know. day. Well, you are my Ellen DeGeneres, darling. Happy Mother's Day to me because I have the most awesome daughters. Hug me. That's Rhea and my eldest Hug daughter, me. Diane. I love you both. Happy Mother's Day to me and to all of the mouse. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
was going to say Selena Gomez. That's why I said it wrong to bug you. I don't know. I don't know. No. Okay. Um, I never performed pink. without... Uh, pink. There we go. You got pink, sir. I never performed without a... Guitar. Okay. That's true. If I ever did a duet, it would be with... Uh... Rhea! Woo! Okay. I'll keep going. Okay. What is our favorite thing to do together? You and I? Yeah. My favorite thing to do with you? Sure. Skiing. Okay. Uh, what song describes me best? Is there one called, like, Socially Awkward? Or <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it like being a stage mom? Uh, it's great. I love it. Okay. Anything for you, my sweetheart. High five. <laughs> I want the song to be good. I want to like the song. I want it to move me emotionally. What a song needs to have is, is a hook, a memorable hook. Um, something that people can relate to, something that's current, you know, uh, that uh, can cross different genres, boundaries, um, race, color, creed, you know, all the different things that anybody who, no matter what country they're from, they can relate to. The Star Experience is a really great opportunity for young people to be able to get in front of mentors and people who are able to steer them in the right direction, help them with the craft of their songwriting, with their singing, with all the aspects uh, that will help their talent um, grow and flourish and uh, put them in a position where they're able to have people help them and move them forward. I think it's uh, both the emotion that you can convey and how your audience receives that and how they connect with, with that emotion, right? So if what you're singing, if your audience really feels that and is there with you on that journey, that that's what it is, you know? So I think just be genuine and, and, and don't, don't uh, you know, force anything, just be yourself when you're writing your lyrics. Make sure it's genuine, make sure it's real and it's not contrived and, and make belief, you know, like be genuine and I think uh, I think your fans will connect with that. And the winner is for third place. I know Marika Stewart and she kind of knows uh, you guys and yeah. like everything that you do and she kind of recommended it to my mom and my mom told me about it and was just kind of like this is a thing that Kathleen should do it would be cool so yeah I just tried it out I had no idea who you guys were or anything yeah. but yeah it's been like the best thing ever because oh, <laughs> yeah, I've glad. gotten to know you guys so yeah, yeah it's awesome I, I definitely think if you're writing your own music when you're writing your own don't try to cater the lyrics or the type of music you're writing to what you think will be received well by certain people by certain people or certain demographic just be true to yourself and whatever feels right when you're writing it just write it and honestly that's where I think your most success will come from your song is because if it's truly you people will see that and they'll accept that but if, if your songs are kind of not really representing who you are what you're actually feeling people will also see that so just just stay true to yourself yeah I knew that somebody was going to come first, second, and third, and I knew that everybody did well. I honestly had no clue what was going to happen with me. Exciting! Tonight's second place winner is... But when my name was called, it was just, I was so surprised, and it was, at first it was just kind of shock, and then 
just joy kind of hit me. And then after that, just all these emotions started flowing through and it was, it was just exhilarating. Richard Tickleman. <laughs> I, it's still, it's still in me. I'm, I still can't get over it. It was such a cool experience. It's a pretty good feeling. The best song for the night, and the winner is Alexis Lin. <laughs> Definitely do it. It's a great competition. I think it really helped me. Like I'm here now, so I mean, just finish your song. That's what inspired me to finish my song in the first place. Sorry, first place winner is Madison Bell. I know it sounds cheesy, everyone says it, but um, be true to who you are, that's also really cliche, but um, don't change who you are as a musician or what music you listen to because of what other people listen to. Stay true to who you are and what you listen to and 